Hello, friends. We are back. We are going to do the sucker today. <laughs> we will do this tomorrow. I just don't want to move my hoop if I don't have to yet. So please excuse me while I move around this hoop so I don't have to take it out yet. When I take it out, we're going to need to do both of these. And this one is Monday. So we'll do this one tomorrow and this one Monday. And then we can put the hoop back like this. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do our sucker today. Um, we are gonna learn about the couching stitch. It's gonna be a fun one. Okay, so I have my dark pink, which is 3350, and white. And that's what we're gonna do. So we are gonna use six strands today. You don't need a super long piece. What we're gonna do is make this go in a circle around and around and around. So I would say like you don't need it all the way to your armpit length. It'll just be long and in the way. So I have mine like just above my elbow and what we're gonna do is we're gonna have um, six strands for the sucker part, and then I'm gonna take just one strand of what's left from up here to do the couching. There we go. They don't need to be the same length. Um, you'll probably need less of this. I mean, you definitely will need less of the single strand than you do of this, so. All right, what I'm gonna do is find my needle. Um, I'm going to put both of these in my needle at the same time. So I've got my six and my one. because we need both of them on the top of the fabric. So you can do it at the same time or you can do them separately. I'm just gonna do them at the same time because why not? All right, there's my single strand. I'm just gonna hold that out of the way. Maybe. It's gonna be a little bit harder with a size five needle. It'd probably be easier to put the six in first and then the one. <laughs> I'm doing it backwards. All right, trying again. I need that whole space, whoops. If you're not threading your needle on the first try, you are not alone. because apparently I can't even <laughs> on my sixth try. <laughs> it's a day, it's a day. Here we go, all right. Now I'll move that out of my way. And then I can thread this single. <laughs> there we go, okay. Now, we're not gonna tie these together or anything. I mean, you could. Actually, yeah, I am gonna. I lied to you. I'm gonna tie these together because there, it needs to be knotted in the back anyway, so we may as well tie them together. Okay. So what we're gonna do is come up at, oh, I need to zoom in. So I'm gonna come up at the base of, or at the top of my like sucker stick. And then what I'm gonna do is just take the six strands out of my needle and leave the single strand. Okay, so our single strand does not have a needle in it. It's on the top of our fabric. 
What we're gonna do is manipulate it so that it goes into a circle. And what we're gonna do is um, use the single strand to hold this down on top. Um, Christy says she's late, what color? We are starting with the 3350. And we've got six strands and one strand. Okay, so what we're gonna do is um, do some stitches on top of, I don't do couching very often, I forget sometimes. Okay, we don't want to come up in this same hole. I'm sorry. Let's start over. Sorry. Okay. Restart. We have six strands of 3350 and we have a single strand of 3350. So I have them tied together in the back because the single strand is hard to tie by itself. So I have them tied together, but the single strand is in the back and the six strands is on top. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, I think we're set. Okay, so with our six strands on top, what we're gonna do is come up every like a stitch length, so just a small amount. And what we're gonna do is just tack that down. So we're just coming up underneath and then going over the top and just creating a little stitch to hold that down. And then we're gonna do the same thing, just up a little bit. The closer you have your couching stitches, the more rounded your six strands are going to be. So if you are doing them further apart, it's going to be a little bit more jagged of a line. Now we're not pulling this, the six strands very tight. We're keeping it s s just a little bit loose so that it's not like pulling it in weird, um, in weird shapes. So you can do this with two different colors, but then you'll be able to see these stitches more. If you do it the same color, it doesn't look quite as, like you can't see it as much. So you could also Instead of going straight over, you can go kind of at an angle and it hides the stitch a little bit more. Um, but the purpose is just like to create like a softer line or like if I'm doing a really long single stitch, um, this is nice. It just helps hold it down without, without doing like a back stitch. So just like a smoother line. So if you keep your couching stitches fairly loose as well, not like super tight, then it won't like pull this down and crease your um, six strands that are on top. If you want your couching stitch to stand out, you could also use like two or three strands More traditionally, it's just done with a single strand. Whoop. That one was a little bit more of an angle. Hold on. So it's a little bit harder to see. I 
This is when I always feel like I have to concentrate on. <laughs> My stitches are getting further apart. Look how far apart these ones are compared to these ones. It's another one, if I'm not paying attention, I'll just get out of control and they'll just be big giant stitches, which is fine if you don't want to do as many. You totally don't have to. So what we're gonna do is do this swirl with the pink and then we're gonna leave space to go in and do another swirl next to it with white. So it's like a one of those suckers with multiple colors. So you could even do like three colors if you wanted. Um, you're just gonna wanna make sure that you leave enough space for that. Okay, so now that I'm moving to the inside, I'm gonna start to move this up and just leave like just a little bit of space between these to get the white in there. I probably should have done this one up a little bit, but let's see. Hmm. I guess I could do that though and then have the white start here. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now this swirl is going to go kind of like that so that there's space in there to put a white strand. Hold on. My camera's too close. Can you be able to see what I'm doing down here? So you could stay, I went the wrong way for this swirl, but if you wanted to stay on this line or draw it, um, that might make things a little bit easier. I wouldn't say this is a difficult stitch, but it definitely takes a little longer and requires a little bit more patience just because I have to move a little bit more slowly. It's gonna be so cute when we're done. Is there any stitches you're struggling with? If there is, let me know. And I can kind of work it into next week. Or find another video and share it in stories. Okay. 
Move into that third swirl. I thought this one was gonna be easy to eyeball, but I definitely think it would be easier if you drew the swirl on there. And followed it. <laughs> Mine's getting a little less circular with each go around. So we are doing just couples pictures this weekend, me and my husband. We did our family pictures in the fall and I didn't really like the pictures of the two of us. Like they just didn't turn out very good. And I have a friend that was doing um, Valentine's Day minis. I mean, she did them for kids, but she's also doing like couples. And so we went and grabbed, we went <coughs> shopping after we got our fifth, our five-year-old to school. I went and got like new outfits. <laughs> I'm excited for pictures like without the kids, like just two adults. Hopefully it'll be a little bit more relaxed. We're gonna do that on Saturday. I don't think the kids will be bummed that they are not invited. They get sick of my antics. I like family pictures every couple years. I don't even say, I don't even know that we go every year. Maybe like every 18 months. So I wanna, I always do like spring and then I'm like, oh, summer pictures would be fun. So the next one gets pushed out and then I'm like, oh, fall would be fun. So they just end up being at different times. All right, we're almost to the end here. Okay, so mm -hmm. I think maybe one more. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna leave my single strand is in the back right now. I'm gonna leave it there and take my needle out. And then I'm gonna re thread my needle with my six strands so that I can put this back to the back. Dun dun. Okay. So I'm just gonna go back down right here. <sighs> this swirl got a little crazy right here. Okay, so look at this back. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Just from like going from spot to spot to do the couching. 
Okay. So now that I've got these two strands, I'm just gonna go under one of these stitches. And I'm gonna go through my couching stitch to kind of tie that in there. And then I'm gonna knot these two together. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna double knot that. Okay. The picture sounds like a lot of fun. I hope they go well. Oh, thanks. I'm excited. Okay. So now we're gonna do the same thing, but with white. And just on the inside of this. So now we have a guide. So I've got my single strand. I'm gonna try and put them in my needle at the same time again. Can it be done? Probably not, okay. I don't know what it is about that one more strand, like it does not want to go in at the same time. <coughs> Now my single one doesn't want to either. And you could always do these separately. They don't have to be in at the same time. Okay. I just hate threading my needle. <laughs> so I try not to have to do too many things at one time. Okay, so I'm gonna tie these together. Actually, now that it's tied together, I'm just gonna take this single one out because it'll still be tied together. Then I can just bring my six up front and then I can move my single. Okay, so there's my six strands. Thread this single one again. All right, and now we're back in business. So we're just gonna lay this white one on the inside between these two. All the way around. And I think because we already have like a track laid down for it, that you could do these stitches a little bit further apart if you wanted to, because we already have like where it's going mapped out. Does that make sense? So you could also do like both of the pinks or you could do white and red. I know we haven't used the red much or the green much, but we will next week. We haven't used the dark brown at all. We will tomorrow. I 
See, it's just filling that space so nicely. Like sometimes you have to trust the process. I was a little <laughs> feeling a little sketchy about things <laughs> at the beginning of this, but I think it's gonna turn out super cute. Okay, I'm a little bit more excited. The more white I get down, the more I like it. What do we think? Is this feeling too crazy? I think it's maybe a little bit harder than like beginner, but I think as long as you're working slowly that a beginner can do it. So if you're not loving this, you could also do the stem stitch, which is what we did on the donut yesterday. Um, with the white for the like the frosting, we did a stem stitch. So you could do that as well and just do it like in swirled um, circles. It's really cute with both colors. Yeah, it like changed it, changed it a lot, I think. Um, but you could totally do a stem stitch or even a whipped back stitch. Like you could, I mean, you could do other things if you're not loving this situation here. Almost there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave my couching stitch in the back. Rethread my needle. I'm gonna go down there. <gasps> Cute! And then I'm just gonna come, I'm gonna tie off the, um, tie off this couching, this white stitch real quick. I'm gonna use this white to do the stick and I don't want to forget about this single strand that needed to be tied off so we could trim it and then I'm just gonna do one oops sorry one straight stitch just from here down to the bottom <gasps> Thanks, Amanda. She says, so cute. So I'm just gonna go down right there. Boop. 
Now, if you wanted, you could do a couching stitch on that as well, but I'm not going to. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to come back up here to tie this off. So I'm going to go through this twice and then do a knot. All right. That's it. Look at that cute little sucker. Oh my gosh. It's even cuter in person. I'm happy with it. I think it would be really cute with other colors too, but we have a lot of other colors going on later, so I kept it white. Okay, will you have a future stitch along like your haunted house one? Like another house? Or what do you mean? Amanda's favorite? Amanda, this stitch is your favorite or this treat is your favorite? This stitch is not my favorite, but I'm super loving the <laughs> sucker. Um, I did a gingerbread house stitch along. I might need to revamp it and do it again this year because that was my very, very first one. When was it? 2020? December 2020? Yeah, another house. Yeah, I want to do another house. The hard thing is, is what house? What kind of house? Because it has to be a house that like everyone would want to stitch. So it would have to be like a cottage. So I haven't done one. <laughs> I haven't decided like what, but that could be a spring one. Maybe do a little cottage with a little flower garden. So we did do, there's the... The fairy garden one had a little tiny house, um, but it, it wasn't nearly as involved as the haunted house one. So I, it's like in the back of my mind. Anyways, love all the stitch longs. Just curious. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I have a lot of ideas. So, oh, things are dropping off my desk. Anyways. Okay. That is it for me today. Let me know if you have questions. Tomorrow I will move my hoop, I promise. And we will do the macarons up here. Anyways, so, okay. Yes, something springy. Yes, we will do flowers next time. So, anyways, have a good afternoon and I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye.